هلا بالحلم وينك من زمان يا حلاتك وانت متحقق بدي كان ما بيني وبينك امتحان هانت ظروفة وعدى كل شي عدى كل شي يا هلا بالحلم وينك من زمان يا حلاتك وانت متحقق بدي كان ما بيني وبينك امتحان هانت ظروفة وعدى كل شي عدى كل شي من نويتك وانت في بالي هدف والسعي لك عمره ما يوم وقف في حياتي ما تعودت صدف ما يخيب اصرار نابع من شغف من نويتك وانت في بالي هدف والسعي لك عمره ما يوم وقف في حياتي ما تعودت صدف ما يخيب اصرار نابع من شغف معدني بظروفي الصعبه يبان جوهري في داخلي له نبض حي قصتي بفعالي هو الحمد لله I'm still six years of hard work and dedication Today is the day we graduate from Day Type Academy We have learned both um, academically and morally and we are now ready to take on the next chapter of our life I remember when first I started Great Height Academy, I was really nervous, I didn't know anyone and I was worried about fitting in. So my teachers and classmates were so welcoming and I quickly made friends. As we graduate from Great Height Academy and we are looking back on our experiences with mixed emotions, we are excited to move on to the next chapter in our life. But we are also sad to leave behind the friends, teaching and non teaching staff who have become like family to us. And I'm also grateful to the teachers who have made me who I am now. And Alhamdulillah, I'm grateful to be part of this wonderful family. I'm also going to meet our teachers, our mom, the Prince for our emotional support, the Vice Prince for academics, standing by us throughout our exam and for giving us peace, the Sunni friend for our storytelling, Mr. Rahim is shouting at us to come and arrange the hall, and Mr. Lame for chasing us around the school. My friends have always been there to support me. They've been my biggest cheerleaders during my stay at school. They've been there to celebrate with me during my successes and then they've been there to pick me up when I was down. And then I'm going to miss you all so, so much. My teachers and parents, you've done so much for me to this state I am today. Thank you all so much and I appreciate it. I would like to thank the school management, especially principal who listen to our complaints no matter how little and VP Akkad for motivating us at every step of the way. I would also like to thank the hotel mistresses, especially Aunt Salama, to whom I will miss so much after I leave. I will miss our fights in the class during prep, in the dining and our shouts in the hostel. I'm so glad I went to Great Heights Academy. I learned so much and I met so many great people. I'm so excited to start the new chapter of my life. And to my parents, I'm really grateful for always being by my side. I really appreciate you. Thank you, Shia Manila. I've also learned a lot morally in Great Heights Academy. I've learned about the importance of kindness, compassion, and respect. I've also learned to stand up for what I believe in. My six years in Great Heights Academy have been very wonderful and worthwhile. I can't wait to start the university and pursue my dreams. Even though I know it's going to be, it's going to be hard, and inshallah, I'm confident that I can do it. My family has been my biggest support throughout my stay at GET. They've always been there for me no matter how little. I'm so grateful for their love and support. I'm just so happy to be graduating. I've worked hard and I'm proud of what I've accomplished. with Allah's blessings and Rahmah, the journey is finally over. I've learned and achieved a lot during my stay in Great Heights Academy. I'd also like to appreciate my friends, teachers, and school management for making my stay an eventful one.
My earliest memory is GHA was the first time I came to this school. Everything was just so strange and funny because it was a new environment. So I had to like find my way around the hostel, do my things. But like, you know, it was all with the support of my sister because she was always there for her mates. So that's all. My earliest memory when I joined the school was a time when I went to the dining hall to eat and I didn't see my sister, so I was so worried. I went out to look for her and I didn't even eat at all at the end. My earliest memory was my first day in school. Despite having a sister, I was so desperate about going back home. And alongside with that, I managed to make our class members laugh on that day. My earliest memory when I joined Great Hatigan was that the first time I slept in this school, it felt as if I slept for two minutes and I woke up. It was weird. Oh, and then I remember this time I was late. So I was going to leave the hostel. I had my bucket and my sports shoes. I put my sports shoes in my bucket and I put it on my bed. My earliest memory in Great Heights was the first time I set my foot into Great Heights and I met most of my friends that I didn't expect that I would meet. When I entered the hostel, it was easy to adapt to the environment because I was familiar with most of the people in the school. My earliest memory was when I came, they took me to my room. When I came up for Salah, after prayer, I was to go back to my room, but then for me to find my room was the case. I could not find my room again. I had to stand there, wait for my friend, Zainab. When I saw her outside the house, I told her to please come and escort me to my room because I could not find my room and I don't know my room number. And yeah, we went to my room and that was all. My earliest memory was when I got lost in the hostel when I was going for Salah, but I found my way. It was when I joined around second term. Everything was quite new because everything was quite strange because everyone was new. I was in a new environment. I knew no one except from Maria, which was my classmate year then. Well, my earliest memory of when I joined Great Heads was when I came to school and I realized that my friends were my primary school classmates. It was easy for me to find friends to hang out with. To be honest, everything is actually unique about this school. But the most unique thing about this school is just the students. Like, they're just one of a kind. I wouldn't have done this without them. The most unique thing about JHA is how they encourage us to behave like sisters, how unified we are, like we go as a group, we know we are one family and it's really good. Um, honestly, everything is unique about GHA, but the most unique thing is their zeal to always be the best school in Abuja. The most unique thing about Great Heights Academy is how they are firm in providing the girl child with good education self-actualization and solid foundation in this life and the hereafter. So a unique thing about Great Heights Academy is the fact that during our siesta, instead of us to observe our siesta and all, we go for after classes, mostly for senior students here. We go for after classes so that we, you know, to increase our intellect, to make us more um, knowledgeable on the things we've done before during classes. The unique thing about Great Height is the robotics lab and how it makes our learning easier for the students in the school. The most unique thing about Great Height is how they don't only focus on academic activities but also extracurricular activities like game hosting on Saturdays which we do, we watch movies and other stuff. The most unique thing about Great Heights Academy is the Monday morning mathematics. The MMM always have every morning to help us with our maths because maths is one of the major problems in people's studies. So when we have the MMM every week, we, they prepare us for the week or, or the exams we have ahead. Something I find very unique in Great Heights is the fact that when preparing students for wire, kneco and jam, we usually have these um, MLAs every week 
to prepare them and boost them using past questions and all. And the MLA it actually stands for Measurement of Learning Achievements. The efforts that the teachers put to make us understand the subjects and the night prep that we're always having every day. Um, their academic standard is unbeatable, it is very good, and their moral excellence is also very good. Well, their academic standard, they have programs set up for their students to explore their talent. While the uh, moral, moral standard, they build the girl child to be a good Muslim. The fact that the school is an Islamic school, so it gives, a more, it gives the girl child more opportunity to have the right morals. Also, academically, there's a very high standard of education in this school, in such a way that we don't engage in any examination malpractice, and we still come out with flying colors, having distinctions in our exams. To be honest, the academic standard of Great is not comparable to any school in Abuja, because I just feel like we have really, really good academic, you know, because we have all the facilities we need to make learning easier and our teachers' efforts towards us learning is very commendable and we also try our best because the environment here is really, really competitive. For the moral and academic standard of GHA, I'll give it a big thumbs up because they set a standard to which every student is expected to read before they leave the school. For instance, the Islamia section, we are all meant to know how to recite the Quran at least before leaving the school and maybe memorize the Quran also. Thank you. Um, actually, GHA is a good school when it comes to academic and moral excellence. Like, our teachers are always ready to help and support us. Like, they don't show us like they're tired or they're not ready for us. And morally, since when I came to this school, I've actually learned a lot, especially like manners and my religion and everything. Inshallah, I plan to become a software engineer. Inshallah, I also work along with my friends here, yes. um, Aisha Traki and Selma Ibrahim. Yes. Selma, my friend, <laughs> and Aisha Traki. <laughs> I want to be a professor under cyber security and I want to open a clothing line. My plan for the future is I want to be a medical uh -huh. doctor. And then I want to start and to own my own farm and then I'll start an NGO to help the less privileged. I want to be an artificial intelligence engineer in the future. Inshallah. I plan to be a lawyer and inshallah a chief justice of Nigeria. And I want to be a billionaire. <laughs> I want to be an IT consultant and I want to be a successful woman. I plan on being an obstetrician and also a successful businesswoman, inshallah. I plan to be the greatest in my field, which is becatronics engineering, and I plan to make a record that no one has ever made. I plan to be an aeronautical engineer because it's interesting and it took school and all. <laughs> My plan for the future is to be an information security analyst and later on I want to open my own business, my own clothing line. My plan for the future is to be a gynecologist and a gynecologist. Yeah, um, all I have to say is you should take a slow pace because everything that has a beginning also has an end. And then I will surely and dearly miss all my friends. No matter, like, after all the fights and all, I will miss everyone dearly. Um, I thank my teachers for supporting me through thick and thin, and my parents for giving me great opportunity to acquire good Western and Islamic education in Great Heights Academy. After six long years, I'm finally living in Great Heights and I'm very happy. I'm going to miss the students, my mates, my friends, everybody, my teachers in general, the director, the principal. 
Thank you. I'm going to miss all my 45 friends in this school and the memories that we made together. I'm going to cherish it. <laughs> okay, to my friends, I'm going to miss them so much. And to the teachers that have supported us through this journey, thank you very much. May Allah bless you. May Allah continue to be with us till Jannah. I would like to appreciate all my class members and my friends, the set of 2023. I have never had friends like you. I would really miss you, especially Zainab Wakala and Fawzia Shinkafi. And to the SS2s, um, do not relent. Always pay attention, obey your teachers. I will miss you all. Fatima Shagari, Fatima Kabir Balariba, and Jeffia the most. Bye. I just want to thank Allah for giving me the opportunity to attend Great Sets Academy. That's all. Um, I just really want to say a big thank you to those who have supported me throughout this journey of mine, or journey of ours, to my teachers, my friends. It was fun. I'm going to miss you guys so much. Thank you. To this school, to my teachers, to you all who have supported me through, I will surely miss you all. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. A big shout out to my parents and all 23 sets. Thank them, I, mean, I thank them for their cooperation and the struggles all, we all faced together. Thank you so much to the family of Great Heights. Um, the only thing I can say is an advice to my sisters. Um, I would advise you to always be yourself, try your best because everything, you can do anything if you actually want to. And you make yourself the person like you. You make yourself the person you are. Nobody is responsible for like the person you are today. And always try your best to be a good person, no matter what and all. Yes.
while living grace has academy with a lot of memories both good and bad but we are also living with a lot of knowledge and skills that will help us to succeed in the future we have definitely learned a lot and inshallah we impact it in the future Thank you.